Madison, Wisconsin. Dr. Emilio Gonzalez Ayala is a pulmonary and critical care specialist in El Paso, Texas. Uh, gentlemen, good morning to both of you. Dr. Potter, let me start with you on this, this breaking news related uh, to the vaccine. Word coming from Pfizer that in the next few days they're going to ask for emergency use uh, authorization. Um, how optimistic should we be, Dr. Potoff, that this is the news that we've all been waiting for? Yeah, in a time where we don't get very much good news around COVID-19, this news around these two vaccines is just really encouraging. Uh, if they are 95% effective, which it looks like they are, and they're safe, which it looks like they are, you know, that puts a light at the end of the tunnel. We've got a way out of this pandemic, uh, and I don't think there's anyone uh, that is hesitant or uh, wants to stay in the current state of affairs uh, a minute longer than we need to. Now, that is for sure. Dr. Gonzalez, Ayala, we should mention that your county alone, El Paso County, has more total cases than 14 states, including South Dakota, uh, Dakota, Oregon, and Rhode Island. You've been working in El Paso for 24 years, and I know you said you've never seen anything like this. Never close to this. Uh, we've uh, seen every year uh, a decent peak in the months of January and February, and not even not even close. Uh, we're seeing numbers go through the roof, and we're at capacity at every facility in El Paso, where uh, hospitals are setting up tents and the parking lots to house patients that need that care. Wow, Gary. Potoff, your hospital recently converted an ICU meant for neurosurgery into one for COVID patients. But at the rate things are going, is that even enough extra space for you guys? No, I mean, at this point, we've exceeded the capacity of that neuro ICU that we converted to COVID. Uh, we've converted other pieces to COVID. Uh, we've been using our children's hospital to take care of adult patients uh, because we don't have room. Uh, we have a hospital across town. We now have to put COVID patients over there. It's really getting out of control. Dr. Gonzalez, I, I, I want to come back to you for a moment here. You just said something, and for folks who are watching, El Paso, Texas, do we know why it seems to be so much worse there than it is in just about any other part of this country? I really don't have a good explanation for that. I think it's a combination of factors, including uh, the holidays that we just went through, including uh, Halloween and, and Labor Day recently. Also, the return to school recently has made that uh, possible, I think, but uh, I think that re uh, relaxing measures, precautions, have led to obvious widespread contagion in the community. And I thought I'd say, now, as if this year wasn't scary enough, I, this is the first time I'm hearing about this, but you started seeing patients that have both COVID and influenza. My goodness. 